Hey there, thanks for watching. My name is Ian McGuigan. You can find my blog at vancouverdata.blogspot.com or my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash vancouverdata. This is a multi-part, uh, first part of a multi-part video series on web scraping and uh, web crawling. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about um, web scraping using Google Docs spreadsheet. Okay, so open up a uh, Google Docs spreadsheet and type in a URL. We're going to use Craigslist job posting board for now. Uh, I'd recommend looking at their terms of use uh, before using this. Okay, and we're going to use Google Docs import XML function, which requires a URL and an XPath query, which I'm about to talk about. Okay, and that's not going to work right now. But um, if you type in the right little code, it'll display what you're looking for. So to display all the HTML in a page, do a double slash and HTML. Okay, and that's the plain text of all the uh, HTML. Uh, if you wanted to show all the hyperlinks, uh, then here's how to do it. So in HTML, it looks like this, right? It's all this uh, marked up text. And a hyperlink, essentially, uh, if you use Google Chrome, it's a lot easier. Um, so right click an element, I hit inspect. You can see what it looks like. So hyperlink is a HTML tag that starts with A for anchor and then has href, um, which is the attribute and that describes the actual URL that you go to when you click it. Okay, so back here, if you type in double slash A, that'll show all of the anchor tags in that page. Okay, if you type in at sign for attribute and then href, that'll show all of the href attributes in that page. Okay. Um, now, when using an actual tag, you should probably use the text function after it to display it slightly uh, more properly. Um, if you're looking for a particular list of, of um, nodes, then you have to use slightly different XPaths. So this one here, see down here, it's a um, it's an anchor surrounded by a P paragraph and a block quote. Okay, and same for the next one. It's an anchor surrounded by a P and a block quote. So we're going to use that pattern to find those types of hyperlinks. So block quote P A. Okay, so that should be all of the main listing hyperlinks. Okay, so it looks like it's using a little bit of caching, but either way, so it starts there, like balance expert, I can trust. Um, and then if you want the actual href, go like that, and it sets every hyperlink in that document um, of that type. It also happens to grab this index HTML as well, which is at the bottom here. Okay, which sort of follows the same pattern, block quote P font A. Um, you notice the P has it on line equals center, okay, and the other ones actually don't have that. So we can use that to avoid grabbing the last one. Okay, so there's a, um, there's a not function in the next path. So we'll say do not include the ones that have the line center attribute. Okay, so we got all those. Just go to the bottom. And we're avoiding that last uh, hyperlink. Okay, uh, there's also the count function. 
Just return the number of all anchors in the document. Yes, it's 221. It's also the contain pains function. So, um, if you notice here, you get the Vancouver.yen.crisis.ca slash RCH, which is for Richmond. Van for Vancouver, RBS. So we're going to um, search all the Richmond ones, so RCH. They contains function looking at the href attribute, RBS. Which will return all the anchors that uh, href contains RBS. There we go. Okay, so sales representative. And that's an RDS. Okay. And this also starts with function starts dash with. Let's go look for the, all the uh, secure hyperlinks. So href. We'll start with HTTPS. And it's just the one in that document. Let's find it's a trap. Yeah, that's a secure URL. Okay, so that's that for Google Docs uh, web scraping. Uh, I'd strongly suggest re uh, reading w3schools.com expat syntax as well as Mozilla's developer uh, expat functions. And you can uh, play around and find some more useful uh, web scraping. Um, techniques. And next time I'm going to talk about uh, using Rapid Miner to crawl the website. And um, in the next video after that, I'll probably talk about PHP and using uh, the curl function to, to scrape the website. Okay, and that's it for now. Thanks so much.